Hey guys, welcome to the Mass Cooking Series. So today, this pretty girl is going to teach you guys how to make the Nigerian chicken pepper soup. I will tell you for, for the truth, like, this is the best thing to make during the winter because it's cold outside and you want some, something that will keep you warm and this is very spicy. So we start off by um, washing the chicken properly. Then for me, I blended my garlic, ginger and onion into a paste and that's what you're seeing there. Then we move ahead to adding the um, black pepper, paprika powder. You can add your oregano if you have your, um, your rosemary. This is the right time for you to like just literally add everything you want to add. You add your billion cube, your salt and then you just go ahead to like stir everything up for me in this recipe i use the chicken kind of the chicken ribs and the neck because i wanted something but believe me you can use whatever chicken whatever type of meat or whatever you just want to use for this like for me this is what i prefer to use so i just went ahead to close in the pot and let it boil for like 12 to 15 minutes and then you can see how it looks because i wanted everything like the spice to like just get into the chicken like everything so nice you get the point so at this point i added extra water because you're making pepper soup and we need the water so i just stirred everything up and now i'm going to be adding my crayfish like how, why would you cook crayfish why would you cook basically without crayfish i add my crayfish i added the pepper soup spice you can get this as an, in an african store or you can make one in your house like locally for people in the abroad i think it's better for them to just get the pepper soup spice because it's easier and straight to the point so at this point i added my pepper if you have your um, scotch bonnet your fresh pepper it's a good time to add it i let the thing boil for some time and then i opened it again you can see it now so for me you can use the otazi i don't know what that is called in english i'll look for it but for me i use the mint leaf and this leaf is so nice believe me you will love it and you can find it everywhere i know if you're in abroad you can't get like we don't have access to a lot of leaf but this mint is everywhere like can't you see See, like how gorgeous this is and believe me it tastes so so good thank you so much for watching i will leave all the ingredients for this recipe in the description box and if you would love to try please let me know thank you bye see you in the next video love you guys